Welcome to What's the 4 in 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. And I'm Keisha Wilson. Hey! <laughs> All right. So, guys. What? It was not a good week last week if you were accused sexual predator. Because oh. they just <laughs> sweeping up, sweeping up them sexual predators. Okay, like so, ISIS. so <laughs> like, like, like ISIS for penises. Oh no! Oh I'm sorry. wow! Wow! Ooh. Who said that, Onika? <laughs> Girl, <laughs> terrible. She's a comedian, y'all. Um, they know. So it should be first, down there. So, first, so singer, <laughs> songwriter, and producer R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. He got swept up on sex trafficking charges again. Now. Um, and also the financier. Have you heard of Jeffrey Epstein? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. He also, yes. He also got swept up on a federal sex trafficking charges. Now. What about the Acosta guy too, right? Him too. But mm -hmm. it's worth noting that Jeffrey Epstein back in 2008 was convicted. He was convicted of, what was the exact thing? Soliciting a 14 year old girl for prostitution. And. <laughs> he knew she was 14. Of course. Okay. Of, of course. What a child. And yeah. And he served 13 months. Get this. 13 months. On a custody with work release, that that's what he got. So he got six days. He could go off and, and go to work and then come and back a job, to prison. Like and in a job. And New York job. has John School. So we, well, well I mean, school? it's yeah. when you get caught soliciting prostitution, and instead of going to jail, you gotta go to schools on a Sunday, not Saturday, because most of them are see the Jewish men, and um, and they just talk to them about how it's wrong. No, but he well, this, to is, go this is way this is way worse. I mean, yeah. and this I mean, this is thirty six victims that he had here. That was a plea deal. So, you just mentioned him, Alexander Acosta, who was now the mm. former U.S. Secretary of Labor. Mm. He was the one who gave him like this kind of sweetheart deal. Right. Because at the time he was working for the United, he was working as United States Attorney for the Southern District of Florida, where they brought the charges. Uh -huh. Now, part of that was that he got immunity from all federal criminal charges, right? right? And so that's what his, you know, team is now sitting on. They're like, oh, no, 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 he can't get federal charges. This was a part of his deal. Jeopardy, but they're like, nope, nope, jeopardy, not in our state. This is New yeah. York, womp, womp. So right now, Jeffrey Epstein is trying to get bail. He's putting up his mansion, $77 million. He has a, a jet that he's trying to put up as well. He's saying he's going to pay for his own guards round the clock. He's trying to do anything he can to stay out of the prison. All of this prison. so he can go have sex with children. You, little, little ooh, girls. Lord. But listen, yeah. listen, yeah, Jesus. listen. Now nobody knows him. Nobody knows Jeffrey Epstein now. Before <laughs> he was hanging out with Donald Trump and Bill Clinton and every, now they're like, hmm, plane. I don't know about plane. I was never on his plane. What you talking about plane? <laughs> you know, nobody knows him. But my thing is, what do you ladies think? Because, you know, we've had conversations, you and I, Onika, about mm. how People are like, oh, my God, they threw Bill Cosby in jail. Right. And look, we got Harvey Weinstein running free. Jeffrey Epstein is a very wealthy, white, well-connected man, and he's going down in this. So what do you guys think about these charges? I'll take it. Wow, they're, they're pretty disturbing when you think about it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just interesting how money and power can really buy you freedom. Yeah. Um, even though it's been reported that R. Kelly doesn't have as much money that he might be in financial straits. Uh, yeah, dire. Yeah, dire, yeah, dire yeah. straits. Yeah. Um, he still has some power. He has recognition. He could probably still afford better lawyers than some or maybe even most. He got off. So he's, he's been... 2008 yeah. or 2012, was it, when they finally called the case? Yeah. He got off. He got off, and they've, they've been allowed to walk around and, and allegedly almost definitely still commit these heinous crimes so uh -huh. i'm just I, i'm curious with the epstein case as the pressure mounts on him mm -hmm. when he's going to start singing and how many people singing what like taking other people down yes yeah because there the there's the the notion yeah. is that the Can't reason why he got that nice deal was because he was connected to bill clinton and other powerful political figures so okay if he starts, if the pressure gets to him and he starts singing, we may find out who really had more of an active role and knowingly participated right. in his exactly. in his crime. It's like, like I don't know him playing. Wait, 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 it's it's going to be so happening. many uh, presidential hopefuls. Like, no, nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I am good. You know what? Forget that presidency. Yeah. Oh 
Yeah, yeah. maybe. No. So, I mean, I think mm. this would be interesting. And one other thing that I will, I'm interested in knowing is if both R. Kelly and Jeffrey Epstein are found guilty, what's the sentencing going to be for both of them? Because money can be exactly. a really exactly. good equalizer in mm -hmm. terms of leveling the plane, but now you have a racial aspect going on here. Will mm -hmm. R. Kelly get a sweetheart deal or something similar to that? Like Jeffrey Epstein, or like what's going to be? But he be? won't but because yeah. because and now he doesn't even have bail. He doesn't even. They're not even setting bail with be, R. Kelly because we mm. try people in the media at this point. And so the way that R. Kelly was set up, you know, the way his um, sexual predator is mm. is set up, it's you know he has that documentary, he has all that other stuff going on. So they're going to try to throw the book at him now. Jeffrey Epstein is different because his connections are going to be on the back end. A lot of stuff you're not going to know about. But are they going to be willing to touch him? Like if they're going to touch him because you got to yeah, you got to save I, him. He's some some things are just too big to fail. Mm. I don't know. Let's see how this plays out because I actually think Jeffrey Epstein is going to serve some time. I don't think he's going to get off scot free the way he did before. Because or almost scot free. So why is Harvey like Weinstein still uh, in these streets? Harvey Weinstein is actually in court. Like he's having his court case is still playing out. So he's still we'll see. Be in the streets. We see. We'll see what happens.